Hi everyone. Packaging is one of the core aspect of Salesforce DX. It makes retrieving or deploying metadata from or to the Salesforce orgs much easier. This video explains the recommended deployment process for Salesforce DX projects. So this is my local workspace for the Salesforce DX project. Now I want to deploy my metadata to my Salesforce org. Please note I say Salesforce org and not scratch org. So I have all my changes ready to be deployed to my org. I have this Apex class which I want to deploy to my Salesforce environment. For creating a package, first you need to put the package object inside a period.json which contains some basic information about the package. You can find the template for this object from our help and reference site. Now let's create a package. For that we have adx sfdx p2 create. This command creates second generation packages from the package information available in a period.json. This command first internally authorizes devhub. So if you do not have a devhub with alias as devhub, then you will need to enter valid devhub credentials. When this command successfully runs, it creates a package as defined in the object and populates the ID and subscriber ID for the package. It also creates the package descriptor section for the project configuration file that is sfdxproject.json. Now just commit the changes and push them. As soon as the changes get pushed to the project repository, some CI jobs are automatically scheduled. As you can see in the pipeline, we have three scheduled jobs. One for sonar cube scanning, then for publishing the package that we created, and a manual job to install the package to the production environment. The jobs for installing the package to the orgs depend on the environments you choose while creating the project. If we push the changes to our feature branch, a different set of CI jobs are scheduled for review apps. You can refer to the review app videos for more information on this. As you can see here, we have an automated CI job for versioning and publishing the package we created. If we look into the job, it executes ADX SFDXP2 publish command in order to publish the package created. And finally, it says job succeeded. Now, if you see in the pipeline, you can find the manual job scheduled for installing the package to the production environment. Just click on the play button to run the job. If you see into the job, it actually runs ADX SFDXP2 install command in order to install the package into the production environment. And finally, it says job succeeded. That means the package has been installed into the production environment. Now let's go to the production org and look for the installed packages. Here you can see the installed package. Now let's see for the Apex class that we included in our package. And here it is. The symbol indicates that it belongs to an installed package. You can also run these commands locally from inside your Aperio DX Salesforce DX project, but it is recommended to run them using the CI jobs to keep the traceability of when something was published and installed and by whom. Kindly refer to our help and reference site for detailed information. Thank you.